Girl, yes, I know a good man and his name is Robert. We met a few months ago. At first I thought he was weird, sis, cause I was outside uh, eating lunch with a friend and we're ironically enough conversing about, you know, how we're um, just have this expectation of love and it just wasn't happening. And I saw this guy roll through the parking lot and we locked eyes, but I didn't think anything of it. Um, and so I continued to talk, you know, to my friend and the guy probably like 30 minutes later, uh, rolled back by. Now, mind you, he said, cause we ultimately, you know, began talking. He said that I threw my hands up at him. So can I tell you, sis, this man made a U-turn in the parking lot came back pulled alongside the building that we were eating like the the back of the building that we were eating in like this outside part walked up and said to me uh hi my name is robert i had to introduce myself to this beautiful lady with this beautiful smile and it literally has uh our relationship has bloomed from there and why I am so incredibly in awe and appreciative of our relationship and his confidence in the way that he loves me uh, is because I'm a domestic violence survivor. And so for me to meet a man like Robert, I honestly had given up on the possibility that, you know, men like him existed. And so um, it's just been an incredible ride. I am in therapy as a result of my domestic violence situation and i'm continuing to be in therapy and i thank my creator for my therapist because the man that robert is says he's so incredibly different than what i've experienced that uh, what i've noticed my therapist and i have noticed is that i've uh, had a few instances of subconsciously um sabotaging our relationship with questioning his motives and questioning, you know, if I should trust him. Now, mind you, he's not giving me really a reason not to not trust him other than me standing in my authentic truth and, and realizing and accepting that I, I was bringing my baggage into our relationship. And what a good man looks like, you know, for me, and for the relationship that I'm in with him is he's very supportive. I'm extremely busy. Um, he's extremely patient in that, like we'll have, you know, dinner, a dinner date at six o'clock and I'll text him at 6.05. I'll be there in 10 minutes and end up being there at 6.30. And he, he still greets me with the consistent same love as he would had I been there um, on time or been there to meet him. Um, I just, I. I'm, I'm in awe. I'm definitely in awe. I it was sharing with my sister not too long ago that, you know, it is just blows my mind how the universe works and how my creator works because I literally was literally talking about just, you know, giving up on love the very, very day that, that he met me. So the power of manifestation is real. Um, I believe in my whole heart that because I've been on this healing journey to show up to this one life that I have to live the best version of myself that I can be, despite all the disappointments that I've gone through, that the light that I've been working on to shine attracted Robert's light. And we just have this beautiful thing called love um, manifesting. Keep going, get it, get it. You better get it, hit them with the shoulders. Hit him with the you you better hit him with the shoulders, baby.